lovely San Diego SD. All right, so I made it here to Fiesta Island. I loaded up my road bike and the wind is blowing, um, you know, maybe at 10 miles per hour and it feels really cold. So I'm not gonna end up using it. I'm so like scared of the freezing weather or I'm so, uh, in Spanish it's called friolento. Like I, I, I can't handle the, the cold as much as I can handle the heat. I'm pretty good with the heat, but I won't go into that one. Um, what else? Let me make sure the audio is fine. Yeah, so I'm gonna toss the line. I'm gonna rig the line first, and then I'll toss the line and see what happens. Uh, maybe I'll do some reading. Uh, if uh, I get enough energy, then I'll strap the camera on my chest and take a few laps around Fist Island. But yeah, let's get to it. Oh, so cold. All right, so uh, I have a size focus size one. I think this is a size one hook. So it's a long neck, but this looks like a size one. There you go. Uh, and I haven't chosen a weight. It's gonna be a two ounce weight. What I found was a little place here on my Jeep where I could uh, hang my pole off of so that I don't have to be there. Uh, babysitting the book I'm gonna I'd rather be reading a book so that's what I'll do um, some people like to be actively fishing I don't mind it sometimes but sometimes I just all right let me ring the line Okay, so, oh, come out. Bait's on line. I mean, bait's on the hook, and I'm gonna go with a two ounce oh, pyramid weight. And I like the two ounces because I they just, I've noticed that in Pacific and in, in the waters around here, they just don't get pushed around as much as a one ounce weight. A one ounce weight uh, will move around a lot. In, in these waters, the the uh, the wind is blowing kind of hard, but typically it doesn't blow too hard. I probably don't need a two ounce weight, but I still like to use them and to each his own. Found a perfect spot on top of the Jeep. If it falls for sure, I know I have something on the line. Uh, cool. Yeah, there's um, people, I think this is called parasailing. No, no, no. Uh, what the heck? Yeah, here you go. I think that's called parasailing. They do it, they do that a lot down in, in Long Beach, uh, like in the Belmont Shore area. Here, uh, I don't see it as often, but t the wind is like I mentioned earlier today. The wind is blowing, so uh, that's probably why he's out here. Because you know you need that wind to to pull you around. Whoa! Whoa! Darn it! This boat is in really shallow waters. I don't know if that's dangerous or or if it's not, but I wouldn't be taking. I wouldn't be taking the boat in these waters. I mean, they're only about, crap, I don't know, three feet deep, four feet deep. So, I don't know much about boating though. I do have my bonus card, but 
but uh, it just seems questionable to me. Wait, this is a yellowfin croaker. It's a decent sized croaker. I'm gonna try to grab onto it. I don't wanna get hurt. Alright, the, the hook is off, and this is, I'm not going to measure it because I'm in a rush to get it back into the water, but um, it's a cool looking croaker. Anyways, setting it back off. It. We did not get skunked today. I did not get skunked today. We as in me and my my like 103 subscribers. <sighs> okay. It's getting late and uh, it's getting cold. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up for the day. But uh, I didn't get skunked. Uh, there was one yellow yellowfin croaker, a decent sized one. One of the things that I noticed about the, the yellowfin croakers, they don't really fight. You could just you could just wind them in. It doesn't put up a fight. I don't know what to say. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'm gonna go ahead and warm up because it's getting kind of cold and grab some food. So everyone have a good weekend. And I'll see you to the next time.